Good morning, beautiful people. The Lord bless you this day. You're welcome to today's reflection. My name is Fumi, and I am bringing the reflection for us this morning. And the title of this reflection is God's Way. God's Way. Come with me to the book of John, chapter 5, from verse 1 to 9. After this, there was a feast of Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is, there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Batisida, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred it up the water. Then whosoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one, to, no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps in, down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walk. Praise the name of the Lord. Wow, we all know this story. This is a wonderful story, you know. Just the, the man was healed miraculously. But what amazes me in this story is that, you know, in the pool, there, there is a certain pool called the pool of Bathsheba. You know, this pool heals any kind of infirmity, any kinds of diseases. People go to this pool every now and then. Daily, there are assembles of people who are healed, who are sick, who are blind, named, paralyzed, leprosy, name it, all kinds of diseases. They just need to get into this pool and then they will receive their healing. Such is this man who has been sick for 38 years and has been coming to this pool every day, every day, hoping that one day he will get into this pool and be made whole. But before he could make a move, somebody else would have, and he can only do one at a time. Hmm. Look at that, just one at a time. And for 38 years, this man has been hoping to get into this pool. But something happened while he was waiting. Jesus saw him. Jesus saw him. The Bible says Jesus saw him lying there. I just pray that Jesus will see you in your own situation. In your circumstances, the Lord will see you. In that difficulty, the Lord will see you. In that challenges that you are facing, the Lord will see you. In your worries, in your anxiety, I pray that Jesus Christ will see you. This man was sent by the Lord Jesus Christ. After 38 years, he has been open on the pool. Where is your hope? Where is your hope? Yet it's working for others. Where is your hope? This man hoped on this pool for 38 years. After all, <laughs> after all, he did not need to get into that pool to receive his healing. Wow. Should he have known that the pool is not meant for him? He would have seek for Jesus. He didn't need to get into the pool to receive his healing. Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. When Jesus asked him and said, man, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be healed? His answer was wrong. He could have said, yes, I want to. 
That could have been a straightforward answer. But his answer was, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. His hope was on, so on, on, on a man. His hope was on that pool. He believed that nothing else except if he get into that pool. But for him to get in it, he need the help of man. I was thinking, Jesus would say, oh, that's okay, I'm here. And just hold him and pull him into the pool. Or ask somebody to help him, one of the disciples to help him to get into the pool. But he didn't need the pool. But he has been waiting by this pool every day. For his infirmity of 38 years. What have you been waiting for? Where are your focuses? Where are you looking at? Where do you place your hope? Have you asked Jesus about it? Jesus said, rise up. Take up your mat and walk. That's all he needed. Not that pool that he's been waiting at. I don't know what is that challenge. I don't know what is that situation. Circumstances that has brought worries and anxiety. Is it the loan? Is it the debt that you just want to get out of by all means? But your focus, your attention is on something. If only I can sell this car. If only I can sell that to get this money. If only I can get that job. If only that uncle or that auntie can help me, my situation will change. No. Because the Bible says, his thought is not our own thought. His plan is not our own plan. The Bible made us to understand that as heaven is far from her, so is the thought of God far from our own thought. Our God is a miraculous working God. He, 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 he can do things now. If only we allow him, if only we give it to him, our situation. Even this man didn't know who healed him. He didn't know. Because if you read further, People were asking, the Jews were asking him, who is this that he would do on the Sabbath? He didn't know until he met the Lord again. And Jesus told him, now that you have made whole, don't sin again. That's when he realized that it was Jesus Christ that actually healed him. And he went back and started proclaiming, oh, it was Jesus that healed me. It was Jesus that healed me. The Bible is telling us, God is telling us this morning, you have sat long enough. Rise up. Take up your mouth and walk. Rise up. Take up your mouth and walk. You have sat long enough at the pool. I don't know how long you have been. For him, it was 38 years in his infirmity, hoping on one thing, if only he could get into the pool. <laughs> After all, he doesn't need the pool. He doesn't need the pool for his healing. May the Lord open our eyes to see. May the Lord open our ears to hear what the Lord is saying to us about our situation. I pray for us this morning. That we will not waste our time on what is not profitable to us. Yes, don't get me wrong. The pool is healing. It has healed. And it will still heal even after this man has been healed by the Lord Jesus Christ. People who still get into the pool will still receive their healing. But that pool is not meant for him. It's not meant for his healing. He doesn't need to get into the pool. Have to run. And I just pray that the Lord will visit us. The Lord will see us in our situations, in our challenges, worries, and anxiety. This man was seen by the Lord Jesus Christ where he was laying. 
And I also pray that the Lord will deliver us from every pool that we are sat that we have sat up until now that is not meant for us. We have sat enough. The Lord is saying to you this morning, get up. Pick up your mat and walk. God bless you. Amen.